you doing today? I'm Ellie, and today we're going to be talking about Chara slash Kara slash Bushi Road Expo. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to say it, so I kind of just call it all of those things. But anyway, I was at this convention not too long ago, and I had a really, really great time. This convention is packed full of amazing guests and things to do and lots of really cool merch and things like that. So much stuff that I honestly forgot to vlog a lot of it. I have some clips that I'll be putting in here, but um, mostly we're just going to talk about it because I forgot to film. Oops. <laughs> but anyway, Chara slash Bushi slash Kara Expo was held at the Anaheim Convention Center November 10th and 11th. This is the second year of this convention, and this year they really expanded and brought a lot of amazing guests, including three bands from Bang Dream Girls Band Party and three guests from Review Starlight, which, as you guys know, is one of my favorite series right now. So I was really, really excited to fly down to California and be able to meet some of these guests. Everyone, I'm Ellie and welcome to Anaheim, California, the home of Disneyland and for this weekend, Chara slash Kara slash Bushy Road Expo, whatever you want to call it. I am so, so, so excited to be here. I usually only come to California for Anime Expo, so coming here kind of on the off season um, is really exciting for me. We are here November 9th through the 11th, so a nice four day weekend in beautiful sunny California. In Utah right now, it's like 42 degrees, and here in California, it's about 78. <laughs> so I get to wear my favorite summer clothes again, and I'm so, so, so excited. Today is Friday. It was mostly my travel day, but we still have a lot of daylight left, so I am gonna go ahead down to Disney, downtown Disney, downtown Disney. So I'm not going to go into the parks, but I am going to wander around outside of the parks and in all the little shops and everything. And I absolutely adore Disney and the atmosphere that they create. So I'm really, really excited just to be there. So, okay. Well, I guess we will go ahead and head out and I will see you, see you there. Yeah. Disneyland. wandering around downtown Disney. It was so fun to go out there and go through all the different shops and just kind of experience downtown Disney. If you've never been to Disney before, everything they do is very extra and they are always improving and doing more and more things. One of my favorite things is that they will pipe scents into the park or into downtown if there's something um, cooking, so like the confectionery shop, they'll pipe the scent of sugar into the downtown Disney streets so that way you're enticed into the shop. They also are always playing atmospheric music, so as you saw when I was downtown, it was starting to get Christmas themed, so all the music was Christmas themed, and it's just, it's so fun. It's a great work of art just going downtown Disney or into the parks, and next time I'm in California, I definitely want to get back into the parks because they are so fun and I miss it so, so, so much. So after going through all the shops, I just stopped and had um, food at Tortilla Joe's, I think is what it was called. They had really good chips. I had a salad, chips, and a margarita. It was amazing. 
<laughs> but now I'm back at the hotel. I did some Pokemon Go raiding and um, some Pokestops and things like that on my way back. And now I am just gonna relax until my roommates get here in case they wanna do anything, but I'm probably gonna call it an early night. So that way I can get up nice and early tomorrow morning since you have to buy merchandise in order to get tickets to get autographs and go to the big panels. So I'm gonna get up really, really early so I can make sure that I can get enough tickets because tomorrow I wanna see Pop and Party and then I also wanna meet Momoyo. So I need two tickets. So I hope they still have the merch I want. I don't really want anything, but I'm buying things to get the autograph tickets, which is kind of terrible, I guess. I'd rather just be like, here's 30 bucks for your autograph, you know? Um, but anyway, that's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. Tonight is just gonna be a relaxing day. So I don't know if I'll vlog anymore tonight. And if not, I will see you in the morning for the first day of Chara Kara Bushi Expo. <laughs> okay, so downtown Disney is so much fun. I seriously love Disneyland. The atmosphere that they create and it just has this sense of happiness and youthful bliss, which I absolutely adore. And I really hope to get back to Disneyland and actually go into the park sometime soon. Definitely on my next trip to California, that's for sure. And now moving on to day one. Day one is where things get a little bit crazy. This convention opens at 10 a.m. and goes until 6 p.m. But right before the convention started, Bushy Road had posted saying that we can't allow people to line up any earlier than 6 a.m. And you know when they have to say that, that's when things are gonna go insane because that means you have the fans that are asking how early can we line up. Good morning, guys. It is 6 a.m. on Saturday morning. Why in the name of anything am I up at 6 a.m.? Well, here at Chara slash Kara slash Bushy Road Expo, they're allowing the lines to start at 6 a.m. But apparently, people have been here since midnight waiting in line to get into the convention center, which is absolutely absurd. There are some cool exclusives and things you can get here, but most of this is waiting for the autograph tickets. So, this is how this convention works. You get autograph tickets, or you have to spend 30 bucks to get an autograph or a big event ticket. And then you can spend those tickets on seeing the guests and getting autographs. That's what I'm here for. And I'm guessing that's what these people are here for. Ready? Ready for this? This is a really cool idea and this is what a lot of um, events in Japan kind of do but here in America we're not used to that we're not orderly or uh, friendly or anything like that so as soon as doors open to the convention people were running and pushing and shoving and really the whole line just didn't even matter anymore so guys that was freaking insane. I'm so glad that I got up and I stayed in that line because otherwise I would not have gotten any sort of autograph tickets or merchandise. I am outside, it's almost 11 at this point, and there are still people in line waiting to get their wristbands to get in, which is absolutely insane. So I am heading back to the hotel. I'm going to go put my Karen costume on and then head back to the convention um, and actually look around the hall. I've seen so far that they have review costumes, Popipa costumes. I'm guessing they must have some Rosalia somewhere, um, which is amazing. I'm so excited to look at these costumes up close and see what they're like. They also have fan signs and um, fan flowers, you know, that you bring for performers and that I believe attendees can sign, which I'm really, really, really excited about. Um, I'm meeting Momoyo at one and I'm seeing Popipa at 12. So I'm really hyped for Popipa. I think it's gonna be so fun. They're such amazing performers. And that's honestly the reason that I came, you know, the um, review stuff is great, but Popipa was my main reason. So super hyped. Um, I also got some fun merch. We'll be opening that once I get back to the hotel room. So I guess I will see you in the room.
right, so we are back in the hotel room and now it's time to show you and open up all of the merchandise I got. So, let's do this. So first things first, when you buy a ticket for Chara Kara Bushi Expo, you get um, your program. And behind your program is this little exchange coupon. And for each program you have, which you should only have one per day, but I'm sure that people have exploited that, um, you get a stamp. And for that stamp, you can exchange for a few different items. There are like white Schwartz cards, um, some wrestling thing, and then of course there's Bandori. So I got this set of these two um, Bandori keychains. They're really, really cute. On the back, it has the other two girls from each band as well. So I think those are adorable and I like that they were free. Um, and then I also got, let's turn the camera around just a second. So then I also got some blind boxes. These are all review Starlight blind boxes. Um, I needed to spend $30 so I could get a exchange ticket for an autograph. So that's what I did. Um, but I really want to really want to get the Karen from one of these three. And um, this is a button. I'm not really sure who it's going to be. Okay. So using two hands, I went ahead and popped all the po uh, the pockets. So now I I haven't looked inside. I still don't know what's in them. So we're going to start with this button. Like I said, this is a review starlight button. So it's going to be one of the nine girls. I don't think Jurassic is in here. Uh, let's see. Ready? Oop. Ah, Claudine. That's really cute. That's a cute one. Okay, we'll leave her, let's leave her here. How about that? Next, we have three of these. Now these keychains are gorgeous, um, but I really want Karen. So let's see who I get, ready? Oh, come on out, oh God. Oh, come out, whoever you are, I don't wanna look yet. Who is it, guys? Ah, Juna chan She's beautiful. What I love about these is that they have this clear plastic. I think they're so pretty. Okay. Next. Oh, I wish they weren't so stuck. Okay, who's this one? Banana! She's cute. Okay, come on, Karen, please come home. I might see if people wanna trade. Last one. Oh no, that's not Karen. Yep, futaba. Cute. So I do really, really love this set of keychains. I do think they're all gorgeous. Um, I do just wish I would have gotten Karen, but hopefully I'll find someone who got Karen and wants one of these girls and I can trade. Okay, so that's the merch I got. Um, as you can tell, I did my makeup while I was sitting in line. We were in line from 6 a.m. until about a little after 10 o'clock. Um, so the line was crazy. And like I said, there are still people sitting in line right now, which is, insane and uncalled for I think personally but that's okay I guess what can you do this is their first real year as like a big convention big um so I don't think they really knew what to expect but that is okay um I have my badge well it's not a badge it's a wristband I don't like wristbands um but I have my stuff and I can go back in whenever I want so I'm gonna get dressed as Karen from Review Starlight, and then I'm going to head into the con and wander around. We have Poppy Pa playing at noon, and then I have Momoyo's autograph at one. So, yeah. Well, hi everyone. I just finished getting dressed, and I am now dressed as Karen Ijo from Review Starlight. I'm really excited to be wearing this costume. Um, my video a few weeks ago was wearing this costume, but I actually just the day after made a couple upgrades. So I added the little cross, um, this little tassel, and then I also covered my button. So now it has a star and it's less of a yellow and it's actually more gold, which I like a lot more. And I also decided not to wear the petticoat today. I might wear the petticoat tomorrow, I don't know. But here's the whole look. And oh, boop, 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 boop. the back, can you see the back? And there's the back. I wish you could see this big butt bow better, but that's okay. So yeah. Um, it's a little after 11.30. I'm just waiting for my friend to arrive, who's my roommate this weekend, and say hello and everything. And then I'm going to head off um, and go run and see Poppy Pa, which I'm really excited about. Like I said, they're really the reason that I came to this convention. Um, so I'm super excited to see them. What are the bangs on this wig even trying to do? My gosh. 
Carrie Nigel of the 99th class reporting for duty. I'll see you at the con. Bye. Hey guys, it's time for a mid-afternoon update. I just finished watching Pop and Party and they were absolutely amazing. They performed four, maybe five, four, four songs. And they were all super high energy, really, really good. And they sound amazing live. They're so much fun to cheer for and I loved watching them. After that, I ran over to autographs where I got Lomo Yoza autograph. And look how beautiful it is. It's so, so, so cute. And I'm so happy I got to meet her. It was so, so awesome. And um, I look forward to seeing her again. So I'm not sure what we're doing next, but I'll update you when we get there. One was kind of just spent relaxing with friends and I was able to take a few photos. My friend Sakura Teacup, who I roomed with, um, she was able to take some photos with me and I got some really, really great photos out of it. I'm so thankful for her to be able to do that for me. Hey everyone, it is Saturday evening now. I'm obviously in the middle of getting undressed, but wanted to finish um, talking about what we did today. So after meeting Momoyo, we went ahead, had some lunch, and then we headed back to the convention center, and we were able to check out all of the different booths and exhibits going on, which was really, really cool. Um, got to see a little bit of Riza Solin, and they were so freaking good. Um, I could not believe the energy, especially the keyboardist. She was hopping all over the freaking place. Um, really, really good band. I, I think I might check them out, listen to them a little bit more, because before this event, I hadn't really listened to them at all, had no clue who they were. But that is really it for the con today. It's really, really teeny tiny and there's not a whole lot to do. So tonight we are just going to relax and get some food and tomorrow we will be back up and at it to go to the Review Starlight panel. So I will see you guys in the morning. Good night, guys. So day two, we strolled into the convention at 10 or 11. I was able to record my next dance cover, which I'm super excited to share with you all. It's obviously a review Starlight song. I'm guessing you can guess which one. It's Star Divine. It's Star Divine. Yeah, yeah, Star Divine. So good. But anyway, I recorded my next dance cover, and then we headed into the convention for the review Starlight panel. So this panel had three of the girls from the review Starlight cast. We had Minori, who plays Hikari, Momoyo, who plays Karen, and Aina Aiba, who plays Claudine. So it was really great to not only see them in their review costumes, they wore the school uniforms and were freaking adorable, but they also talked a little bit about the process of creating the musical and acting in the stage show and what were the challenges for them and what was fun. And it was so great to just hear from them and see them and be able to show them that here in the US, we also love Review Starlight. And so it was a really, really fun panel. After that, we headed over to Little Tokyo. It's been a long time since I had been to Little Tokyo. So we were able to explore the different shops and get some curry house, which was delicious. And honey me, oh my God, this is ice cream. It's like super whole milk ice cream and they put honey on top of it. I got a caramel flavor and it was so freaking good. We also went to Anime Jungle, which I guess has so many shops. It's like five shops underneath Little Tokyo, all owned by the same people. They even have an entire cosplay shop with a wall full of wigs. I was so tempted to buy some wigs. They were even having like a super duper good sale. I didn't though. I stopped myself. But anyway, after that, we just kind of headed home and relaxed and I went back to Salt Lake the next day. So overall, Chara slash Kara slash Bushi Road Expo was really, really fun. It's obviously having some growing pains as they're still learning what American fans are like and what bringing big name Japanese guests will do to their line control because the lines were out of hand. But otherwise, it was a really fun convention. You have the main Bushi Road merchandise booth. You have live events. You have wrestling, which was weird, but fun to watch. You have a bunch of TCG card tournaments, which is awesome. Some really cool food and a few little other merchandise booths. 
So really, there wasn't a whole lot to do unless you were interested in the guests or the live events. If the guests or the live events or wrestling or TCG isn't your thing, I wouldn't say it was would be worth it to come out to this convention. But if that is your thing, then it's totally worth it. It was so worth it for me to go out just to be able to see Pop and Party live. They were absolutely spectacular. So next year, I'm hoping that Bushi Road continues to bring out these amazing guests because if they do, I will be sure to hit it up again next year. So did you guys go to Char slash Kara slash Bushi Road Expo? If you did, let me know what was your favorite thing that you did. And if not, let me know if there were any guests that you would want to see if you were to go next year. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. And as always, keep sewing, stay positive, and have fun. I will see you next time. Bye!